Okay, today we're making pancakes. So to start out with pancakes, you need one cup of mix. This is the proper way to fill your measuring cup. I overfill it, you can see that. And then I'm gonna take my straight edge spatula, which looks like this. You should have one of these in your drawer. If you don't have one of these at home, you can always use a butter knife but these are the full length of the measuring cup. So I'm gonna move the flour or the mixture, pancake mix in this case, and then I'm gonna scrape it completely off so that you have exactly one cup of mix. See how it's nice and even? It's full, the entire measuring cup is full of the pancake mix because this is according to the recipe. And this happens to call for one cup of mix. Okay, gently put this in the bowl, and then you're going to take two-thirds cup of water, you see the two-third cup, and fill that up with water. I level it, make sure you have exactly two-thirds cup of water in here, as I do, and then I'm going to gently pour that into the mixture. Take your wire whisk, and you're going to mix it together. Do not over mix your batter. As you can see I'm kind of getting everything off the sides. It will be a little lumpy. Okay. And then I'm going to scrape everything off the sides with my rubber scraper. have enough mix in there and I'm ready to go. Okay, start your burners. You'll probably need two burners for this on about a medium heat. You don't want to have too much heat. Because you don't want to burn your pancakes. So a little bit of heat. We're going to let this Warm up a little bit. Where should your handles be? Off to the left hand side here. Because if it's out here, you could you could run into this with your body. So I'm gonna move this out. I also have a turner. We call this a turner. Culinary term for it is a turner. I'll also still need my rubber scraper. These things right here can be put away, these can be washed. So let's, uh, somebody should be starting in the warm soapy water. I'm going to use cooking spray, and I'm just going to squirt a little bit in the pan as we go. Some people use butter. That's fine also. Okay, kind of check to see, does it feel like it's heated up at the top? I'm not touching the pan, as you can see. Okay, now I'm going to spray a little bit. You don't need much. And then I'm going to pour a little bit into the pan. As you can hear, it's already starting to cook. Okay, so these smaller pans, you're only going to get one. I'm going to show you kind of what it looks like here. This is what it's looking like. Oops, sorry about that. Bring the camera a little bit closer. Okay, so you can see what's going on in my pan right now. So you should see the bubbles in the pan. And if you can pull everything off the bottom, if it kind of comes off the bottom, then it's ready to flip. So see how that kind of tore a little bit? That wasn't exactly ready to flip. So my other one, I can definitely see there's not bubbles all over. It's not ready yet. Now I got a little piece. Somebody's getting a little pancake on this one. Okay, is it pulling away from the side of the bottom? Yes, so I can flip it. See what, it's like a light brown color. Okay, I'll check this pan also. It doesn't take long for them to cook. That's why you can't walk away from them. This pan's a little bit thicker over here, so it's taking a little bit longer than this one here. This is a thinner pan. It's made especially for things like this, omelets, it's kind of, a, I guess it's called an omelet pan. Okay, so you see how it's brown on the bottom, 
brown on the top, this pancake is ready to be eaten. Okay, so this one here, not quite yet. We've still got, we should have some more bubbles over here, but you don't want to wait too long. So kind of check it. Does it pull away from the bottom? Mm, for the most part, this one does. Flip it over gently. And I probably could have let that one cook a little bit longer, but it still didn't tear apart. Okay, so you might have to turn the heat up just a little bit depending on your oven. Um, this is the gas oven that I'm doing the video on. The electric oven is over there on the stove top. It takes a little bit longer. You're going to get more heat with this one on the gas side. So the stuff will probably cook a little bit faster. Okay, so once again, light brown. And you can see what happens if I leave it on there too long. That's why I left that on there. It's, got, it's gotten a little bit too dark brown. Um, but some people might like it like that. So that is... Uh, about the size that yours should be, about the size of a spatula, is about the size that you're looking for. Um, and that's, so enjoy your pancakes after that. I will have butter and syrup available as well on the table.